Hello singers and welcome to day eight of the Singing Straw Challenge. How is your voice feeling, all right? It's been over a week. This is just a little bit, it goes a long way. I hope that you are noticing already just feeling healthier, easier in your voice. As you already know, my name is Whitney Nicole. I'm a vocal coach, studio owner, singer-songwriter, and creator of The Singing Straw, which helps singers and speakers develop stronger, healthier, and more balanced voices. So let's get into day eight. And before we get to singing, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did open the doors to the Love Your Voice course a little bit early. I was actually gonna wait until our celebration giveaway at the end of the challenge, but I've had a few of you DMing me and asking questions, so I thought I'd just let you all know. The link is down below if you're interested in learning more about the Love Your Voice course. It's incredible, we've had 168 people I think so far go through it over the last year um, and it's relatively new but it's been amazing seeing these singers progress. We have two different levels. You can come in just as a, as a do-it-yourself level which gives you access to the entire pre-recorded course. I've got over six and a half hours worth of exercises, lessons, trainings, and all of the scales that we're doing here and all sorts of mind work and journaling and all that. The details are below but then there's also a second option which I have only done once before and this is a live session that's going to go along with the course so you'll get time with me as well as access to our giant community of Love Your Voice alumni and support from me there. If you're interested in either of those things definitely go check out the link below and otherwise grab your straw and let's get to our slide from the bottom to the top. Here we go. Beautiful job, one more time. Very nice. Now today's exercise is gonna be a groovy little pattern off of a minor arpeggio or a minor scale. Now listen, these exercises are progressing and getting a little bit more complicated and difficult as we go along. So if it takes you some time to get these, don't be discouraged, that's totally cool. Just take your time and maybe revisit another day if this one feels a little too funky for you. We're gonna be starting on the five in this. So almost all of the other patterns we've started on this root, okay? But we're actually gonna start up here this time and this pattern sounds like okay so you hear this and you're starting on that five all right so go ahead grab your straw and again higher notes and then lower singers here we go Feel free to speed up or slow down, okay? Just don't let these turns be sloppy. Keep them clean. That agility and flexibility in your voice is so important, okay? So slow it down if you want to. All good by me. As you can see, I like to move when I sing like to be rigid so move it also helps to keep from holding any tightness in the neck or the shoulders or anywhere else in your body for that matter so keep it loose keep it easy like a song like you mean it okay not just like phoning it in on some scales and some exercises like this is what you're really doing when you're singing okay so scoops are okay as long as they're intentional <laughs> one more for our higher voices and turn it back around very nice right find the ease the straw phonation is all about finding the ease and the sweet spot of your voice bringing it down you're doing great
people always ask me, do I get the spit or the condensation? I do, I do. It happens to me too. Last one. Very nicely done. All right, so you did it. Day eight, check done. Make sure you comment down below and let me know you're following along and tag me on those Instagram stories and posts. I love seeing you guys sing and what you're doing along the way. Can you believe we only have two days left? That's right, so I will see you back here again for day nine.